Our next example on how to find the area you need a curve deals with an equation. It's a little bit more complicated than the first two. Uh, it says y equals x squared minus 2x plus 8, and we're supposed to find the area you need a curve from x equals 1 to x equals 2. So again, the best thing to do is to grab that equation. And um, let's see here. This is a parabola. It opens upward. Um, can we factor that? Because if we can factor, we can at least find the roots. And when I look at the numbers, it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look like it has uh, any roots. Uh, so therefore, one way to look, uh, look for it, uh, to graph this, is to look for some key points. If x equals 0, then y equals 8. So that helps us. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right there. So we know that the function passes through that point. Um, Let's put it down right there. Now, where's the vertex? Uh, the vertex would be found by finding, so x sub v is equal to minus b over 2a. In this case, that's equal to minus a minus 2 over 2 times 1. And so that would be a 2 over 2, uh, which is 1. So when x equals 1, that's where the vertex would be located. And if x is equal to 1, I get a 1 minus 2 plus 8. That means 7. So when x equals 1, y is 7. That's the vertex. I need to go to that point so it looks fairly clear that the parabola looks like this. So it's fairly easy to graph a parabola even if there are no roots. Now we're supposed to find the area near the curve of this function from x equals 1 to x equals 2. So let's draw a line from x equals 1 down. And then here is the point 2. Let's draw another line down here. So we're looking for the area underneath the curve like that. It always helps to be able to have a visual picture of what we're trying to do. Okay, so now let's go ahead. The area need the curve is equal to the integral from x equals 1 to x equals 2 of the function, which is x squared minus 2x plus 8 times the dx. And that is fairly easy to integrate, so this is equal to x cubed over 3 minus 2x squared over 2 uh, plus 8x and evaluate it from 1 whoop, evaluate it from 1 to 2 all right let's simplify this a little bit so the 2's there cancel out now we plug in the upper limit so we get this is equal to 2 cubed over 3 minus 2 squared uh, plus 8 times 2 Let's put brackets around it. So this is what we get when we plug in the upper limit. Then we subtract from that when we plug in the lower limit. So plug in lower limit, we get 1 cubed over 3 minus 1 squared and plus 8 times 1. Okay, and working that out, we should get the area. So let's see here. This gives us uh, 8 over 3 uh, minus 4 plus 16. And then we subtract from that minus... One third minus times the minus gives me a plus one, and minus times the plus gives me minus minus eight. All right, let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. We have eight thirds minus one third, that's seven thirds. We have a minus four plus 16, that's plus 12. Uh, minus eight, that gives us um, plus four, plus one is plus five, so that's plus five. And 7 thirds is the same as 2 and 1 third, so it's equal to 2 and 1 third plus 5. So finally we can say that's equal to 7 and 1 third. And there's the area underneath that curve from x equals 1 to x equals 2. All right, just a quick check. 8, that's 8, that's 4, that's 5, that's correct. 7 thirds looks correct to me now. All right, that's how you do a problem like that.